You try to join a match in Counter-Strike 2, and Valve Anti-Cheat prevents you from doing that, saying that some of your game files have been detected to have no signatures or invalid signatures. You will not be allowed to join VAC secure servers. And it continues with those standard solutions. Please verify your launch options, check correctness of your game, installation, restart the game and try again. The error only appears when you try to start matchmaking. If you have been invited to join a match and someone else starts the matchmaking, you can play just fine without this anti-cheat error. I have already made at least two videos showing how to resolve this issue and judging by the comments, my suggestions work. However, I continue to receive questions in the same comment section from people who apparently are not able to follow any tutorials. So this video is a summary of proven solutions to this problem confirmed by my viewers in the comment section. Okay, the first solution. Start the game from inside Steam. Open Steam Client, find Counter-Strike 2 and press play. Do not start it with a desktop shortcut. The shortcut may lead to the Counter-Strike 2 executable directly or it may be a bootstrapper through Steam but don't use them. Launch the game from inside Steam. Second thing, you must remove the tick run as administrator from both Steam and the Counter-Strike 2 executable file. There are way too many suggestions to do the opposite, run Steam and the game as administrator. You should not do that. So remove those ticks, apply the settings, Reboot the computer just in case and try again. If it still doesn't launch, you may want to delete configuration files which I kept over from Counter-Strike Go. When you were searching for that Counter-Strike 2 executable, you may have noticed that the folder of the game is still called Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Moreover, the app ID, that's a unique identifier of every title on Steam, so when a game is published on Steam, the title receives a unique catalog number. And for Counter-Strike 2, this number is 730, which is exactly the same as Counter-Strike Go. Anyway, in this CSGO folder, you will find configuration files that may contain some commands that you have been using for Counter-Strike Go. It is safe to delete all of those files, the game will recreate those that it needs, and it may fix the issue. The next thing to check is Counter-Strike 2 launch options. There may be some commands that you carried over from Counter-Strike Go. Again, since Counter-Strike 2 is basically an update to Counter-Strike Go, even though it's a completely different game based on a completely different engine, and those commands may cause problems. So the best way to go is just to keep the launch options clean. If that doesn't help, go to DLC tab and make sure you have Counter-Strike 2 workshop tools ticked and downloaded. If nothing of that helps, NVIDIA GPU owners should download an open source utility which is called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. That's the correct name of the utility. Launch it and in the fifth section of the options, find Ansel enabled, turn it to off, apply the settings, reboot the computer and try to play the game. If you don't have Ansel, that's probably because you're using NVIDIA Inspector instead of what I said, NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And if you are on an AMD or Intel video card, you don't have to do this at all. If nothing of that helps, there is also a specific problem why the Valve Anti-Cheat prevents you from matchmaking. And that is your nickname. Apparently, some nicknames are considered offensive by Valve standards. It's a nice touch to the game that used to be called Global Offensive. Anyway, if nothing helps, try changing your Steam profile name to something plain vanilla that will be deemed acceptable in a kindergarten to be used by snowflake babies, apparently. It will go over to Counter-Strike and then try matchmaking. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.